Hello everyone. Today we are going to study about gross domestic product. Uh, this concept is uh, fundamental and very important in macroeconomics. So we will be studying about the basics of gross domestic product and some critical uh, questions related to this concept as well. So this is the first part. In this part we will just discuss uh, the, the basic definition of uh, this concept. So gross domestic product is normally called uh, GDP. The definition is GDP is the market value of all final goods and services produced within a country in a given period of time. So we will divide this definition into three different parts. The first part is the market value of all final goods and services produced uh, produced within a country. This is the second part of the definition. And the third part is in a given period of time. We will discuss these uh, three different parts of the definition separately. So the first part of the definition is the market value of all final goods and services. So here we will be discussing the important concept of market value. So to understand this concept, we are going to discuss the example of a jeans. So how a jeans is made. So assume that uh, you go to the market and you purchase a jeans for dollar ten. So how is this uh, value made? How is this jeans produced? Uh, we have to understand that. So first, to produce one jeans. So we are here. We are discussing about one jeans only. So to produce one jeans, the raw cotton required is for dollar one. So uh, a cotton grower sells uh, cotton to a firm for one dollar. Here we have a cotton farm. So cotton is produced and sold to a firm for one dollar. The firm, uh, the next process of producing jeans is the spinning process where the firm, where the raw cotton is turned into thread. Here is the process. The thread is then further sold for dollar three to another firm, which is involved into weaving process. The firm, uh, what uh, what the firm does through this process is the that the thread is woven into jeans, and the jeans is sold for dollar six to the market in the market. So for dollar six, that jeans is sold in the market, uh, and. To, uh, I mean to a seller or to a shopkeeper and the shopkeeper finally sells the jeans to the consumer for dollar ten. So here the important thing to understand is that we have four different values. We have dollar one, dollar three, dollar six and dollar ten. So which of these values should we include in GDP? That is the important question. Should we include all of these values? 1 plus 3 plus 6 plus 10? Should we include all of these values or only one of these values? The right answer is we just have to include only one value and that is, here we said it, final, the value of, uh, the market value of all final goods and services. So when we are talking about the final value, here is the final value, $10. So we will not include dollar one. We will not include dollar three. We will neither include dollar six. We will just include dollar ten into the GDP. So dollar ten will be included in the gross domestic product, and the uh, other values, the values that uh, the values of dollar one, dollar three, and dollar six will be ignored because those values are already part of dollar ten. Uh, uh, the price of the jeans that uh, that the seller is selling it for. All right, so this is the first part of the definition and the most important part. I hope uh, you understand this. So now I'm going to move to, to the second part. The part two says produced within a country. So here it's important to understand that everything that is produced within the boundaries of a country is included in the GDP. And if something is produced outside of the boundaries of a country, that is not included in the GDP. So, for example, in the case of Pakistan, uh, the second part says produced within a country. 
So this simply means that everything that is produced within the boundaries of a country is included in GDP. So if something, something is produced outside of a country, that is not included in the GDP of that country. Only the things that are produced within the boundaries of a certain country, only those things are in, included in gross domestic product. So that is the second part. And the, the third part says in a given period of time. So GDP is always uh, quoted or told in terms of a, a particular year. So the GDP of United States or GDP of Pakistan in year 2000 or in, a, in year 2010 was, uh, for example, $300 billion. So that is how GDP is quoted. So in a given period of time, mostly it, it is quoted in within one year time frame within a, within a year so uh, when uh, when you hear about gdp uh, the the economist or anyone who is talking about gdp will say the gdp of united states of america in 20, 2019 was 19 trillion dollars or the uh, the gdp of pakistan in the year 2019 was 350 billion dollars that's how they are going to uh, talk about gdp in that sense so in a given period of time here we are uh, mostly talking about within a given year. So I'm just going to go through it one more time. GDP is the market value of all final goods and services produced within a country in a given period of time. This simply means everything that is produced within the boundaries of country, everything, their final value uh, or the value that uh, the sellers in, in the market are selling it for, that value is included in, a, uh, in the GDP and within a given period of time. So if we are talking about 2019, we will not include things which are produced in 2018 or 2017. We are only going to include things which are produced in the year 2019. So this means that in a country, everything that is produced within a specific year, whether it's chains, or they are the cars or sunglasses or uh, sugar anything that a country produces within its boundaries in one year all of that the market price of everything is included in GDP so for example uh, let's take an example of China China produces a lot of stuff so whatever China produces within its boundaries uh, in, a in a specific year, for example, in 2019, whatever China produced in that year and uh, within that year, it was all included in China's GDP. Similarly, whatever United States or Pakistan or India produces within its boundaries in a specific year, whatever they produce, whether it's cars, jeans, shirts, uh, uh, I mean, you can name anything, uh, water bottles, uh, plastic uh, cups, uh, lunch boxes, anything, whatever they produce uh, within the boundaries of their country, it is included in the GDP. So we can also think about that uh, from this example of a house. Assume that uh, you have a house and you produce uh, in the year 2020, you produce some stuff like uh, within the boundaries of your home, you produce 100 cakes in 2020 five cell phones, one car, 200 shirts, and 50 lamps. Uh, that's everything that you produce. So, uh, I mean, the price, for example, for cake, if the price is uh, $2, so that's $200. For cell phone, if it's 1000 that's 5000 For a car, if it's... Uh, hundred thousand that's hundred thousand for 200 shirts if it's a dollar each that's uh, 200 sorry if, if it's a dollar each and for 50 lamps if one lamp costs ten dollars that's five hundred dollars so when you add it up all of this you get uh, 100,000, uh, 
one double zero. That's the that's how much uh, you have sold in the market. That's the uh, that's the GDP of your house. This is how much you have produced in 2020. If you produce all of this stuff and sell it in the market for the prices that I've mentioned here, so that's the GDP of your house house in 2020. So that's it. This is the first part. In this uh, part, I tried to explain what GDP is, uh, the basic definition and the concept. So I hope you understood it. And uh, the next part, we will uh, dig deep into some other GDP related concepts.